Hey Death, how are you today? Welcome to the stream. I'll be there shortly. I'm just posting my uh, twit. Posting my live advertisement everywhere, as usual. How are you doing today? And is the lulls ready? Uh, a lot more ready than I have been in our most recent sessions, that's for damn sure. What about you? Are you ready to torture me like you always do? Thirty seconds. Man, this is probably the most prepared we've been for a stream in a long time. Which sounds terrible, because it is. But I'm glad that finally, after all this time, we're at a point where we're kind of, more or less, ready to get rock. Hello, everyone. Oh shit, and of course, man of the board. Right? Always happens like this, doesn't it? Anyway, welcome to the Lulsome Show. Oh shit! Ha! I blocked some of them this time. What now, huh? What now? <laughs> yeah, welcome to the Lulsome Show with your host, Lawler Hicks. It is Wednesday, my lolies. We are playing. What up? Right up. Thank you for the three redeems. You woke me up. So as I was saying, uh, we are playing some more Outward tonight. Exploration game, very difficult, very hard, very cheesy, very fun. And I hope, well at least I think so, and I hope you all think so too. Uh, ah, yes, by all means, continue to torture me. I fall asleep, I will fall asleep otherwise. <laughs> Alright then. So, when we last left our weary heroine, Gio Lin, explorer, explorer extraordinaire, uh, we had just made it back to Levant, which is where our apartment is, so we can finally continue um, the main quest line and stomp on some bandits, apparently, for the big boss. Temperature neutral, it is 5 in the evening. We're gonna go to bed, chat. In game, of course. all the stuff I just sort of left lying all over the ground. Thankfully there is persistence in this game so I don't need to worry about these despawning all of a sudden. So it's all good. All good in the hood. I just need to determine uh, what kind of equipment am I going to bring with, be bringing with, be bringing with me. Take a look at our skills. I'm mildly upset because I thought that being able to cast Sigil of Wind means that you should be able to fire uh, bullets that would shoot lightning bolts, but that has failed me so far, and it could have been bad. How we're still alive up to now is anybody's guess, chat. I think we will continue our journey as... A two-handed wielder for one. 
I still have one more breakthrough point that I could use for a third skill, and I have not decided yet on what to use it on. And so far we're doing well enough that it might not even be necessary, but you never know. Take the Elite Hood. We'll be carrying our backpack with us as well. Which is extremely heavy. We need to go downstairs and like uh, deposit this stuff, you know? I also need to determine um, just what clothes to wear as well. But we will crawl downstairs first, and then we will make the heavy decision. <laughs> Let me tell you, it took me a long time to buy this house, to earn this house, to earn the right to take this house, and it was totally worth it. This house is a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm not the best of adventurers. But I do try. At least I like to think that I do. So, as according to tradition, let's go ahead and toss all the stuff here in my... ...stash. And then we'll go through each thing one by one to determine what we will take with us on our adventures. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just run around in the master clothing because this is pretty cool looking clothing. The only problem I have with it is um, um, the fact that it doesn't give you much in the way of armor and you get pretty much cheese by like one or two hits in this game. I'm also thinking about bringing Mysterious Pizza Check Ram with me because uh, it pretty much buzzsaws its way through people. And I do have some Check Ram skills here. In fact, I'll carry the guns with me as a backup like I always do. But I really want to try out these Chakram abilities since I do have mana now. A fair, a fair amount as well. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to go ahead and assign these to a quick slot. We're going to assign them to 3 and 4 respectively. Let's start with our armor now. What armor are we going to bring with us? Are we going to wear? I left my heavy uh, blue sand equipment over here, which was probably a terrible idea. I haven't worn that since I first crafted them way back when, because they're very heavy. Very good protection, but very heavy to wear. I'm not thinking about bringing into wearing the nobleman clothes, but nah. Or best to like, um, should probably stick with the... The Chitin Desert Tunic actually does a better job, all things considered, than the Elite Desert Tunic. Even has better weather defense, all things considered. It's also heavier, though. This one has 2 armor and 20 resistances, and this has only 10 resistances, but a lot more impact resistance, and it's also... Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. I think we'll actually stick with the Elite Desert equipment. Desert boots. Once we get two broken golem rapiers, we can start to make some cool stuff. We're not going to be using any shield style this time, so we're going to be using two-handed weapons. Put that shield away. Always got to bring a trusty mining pick. And my bow. And my axe. Yeah, we're keeping we're keeping the axe actually. A torch. One of these torches here to keep ourselves or to try and keep ourselves uh, cool. one of these potions 
All three of these. Four of these. And ten of these, for sure. At least one water bottle. Some... Magic... Magical rags. I cannot forget... And I always forget to do this for some reason when I play this game. I cannot forget to bring flint and steel with me. You always need that. It's very important. Food's important too, as well as bandages and also needle tea. We're actually getting pretty heavy as it is. 50 pounds already worth of the garbage. We're going to lower that though because we're going to be wearing some of this stuff. That saves us some room. I need to check to make sure all these guns are loaded. Some of them are not. I also need to bring bullets with me. 24 bullets should do. Final last wo or last words. <laughs> so I'll keep the guns in my pockets. Just loaded with guns. I just want to add a cannon pistol too. Here it is. Ow! Who goes there? Ow! You were waiting that time. I had, I had no way to block that. <laughs> Spicy meringue. Always want to bring at least a bedroll with you. Or a plant tent. And bring the plant tents with me. Also, I like carrying at least one cooking pot. All my trip wires I currently have, which is only like two right now. Actually, I can make some more trip wires. In fact, let me do that really quick. It is I, Death. Fear you. You and what army? Yeah, I think we're going to run around with the pizza delivery today. For the lulls. Aside from that, though. I think we are pretty much all set, chap. As far as I could tell. Pickaxe, main weapon. Oh, my arrows, of course. Arrows are kind of important, chat. Otherwise, why do I even bother bringing a bow with me? It would appear that I do not have any... Wow. I, don't, I actually can't make any arrows. Big rip. I need wood and I need iron scrap. Unless... I'll take that apart. Do 
your yeet army. Yeet, yeet, yeet. <laughs> now then, let's head back to Bap. Ah, thank you for the hydrate redeem, them boy, and the posture check. How are you doing today? As always, thank you for coming to the stream. Much, much appreciates. Thank you for the head pat. I look a bit wide. Yeah, just a bit. I could probably fix that. Give me a second here. Or I might fuck it up. You never know, sometimes. You know. Ah, as I thought. I was afraid I cannot seem to adjust it right now. Actually, I probably could. If I do a little trolling here. One second. It appears that I'm gone. Woo! I'm actually doing pretty well today. What about you? Thank you for asking. to fuck around too much. It looks like a lip sync and everything else is still working properly. Cool. You can change the resolution to change the resolution back, which will resize your window. Then lock window resizing to never do it again. I think the main I think the reason why it's having problems with that is because it's displaying on a screen right now, which is in portrait mode, which is hor which is vertical instead of horizontal. Because otherwise it doesn't do that by default. <laughs> But I'll look into that after stream later. Alright, so onwards, now that we're pretty much uh, all set, we're gonna be, as I said before, we're gonna be continuing the main pl plot line. We're gonna actually do the quests that we're supposed to be doing for this game. I decided to take out my platinum, my uh, adamantium pizza, which is currently, which is currently fresh out of the oven. We're going to be serving this to our enemies. They will... I will see them fed before me. Whatever happens, something tells me we're going to have a great time. Oh, you know what? I should probably do something like... Oh, I don't know. He heal up my uh, mana pot? My mana? Now yeah, we could do that later. Mm. Posture checked. What up, Cyrene? Uh, what? Our situation is getting desperate. <laughs> the war has cut us off from many of our usual trade routes. And a few that remain are being plundered by bandits. If things don't change soon, we'll face a famine. The worst of these sand corsairs, as they call themselves. Cactus farms? Oh no. This needs thinking about. A city of corpses. The Corsairs are extremely crafty. None of my agents have been able to locate where they operate. You're a somewhat recent addition to the city. It's possible the people in the slums might open up to you. Really? So it appears that we need to go speak to the people in the slums to see where these sand corsairs are coming from, chat. So let's go ahead and get to that. 
We're gonna do a little investigation. You have cookie dough? Excellent. <laughs> cookie dough ice cream or just raw cookie dough? Raw cookie dough, huh? Sounds delicious. I like how nowadays the music it plays here is actually really happy-go-lucky. Huh. Oh, so we'll need to pay her off. Let's go ahead and get us get our money back. I forgot, totally forgot to bring some gold bars with me from my apartment. Thankfully, my apartment's literally right here. You're hungry, you're too hungry to cook it? Oh, So you're just gonna eat it raw? <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world, honestly. Enjoy! Thank you for the head pads! <laughs> Let's see what we got for sale here. You touch it, you buy it. Oh my goodness, a Chimera pistol for 2,000 silvers. Unfortunately, I only have around 1,900 here. Got a bunch of wolf shields here, three wolf shields for 800 each. A wolf claimer for a thousand. A giant kind halberd for 375. It's actually fairly weak by my standards now. It only does 32 damage. Forward chitin. Some golden boxes. A alpha tornosaur. Ooh, alpha wolf plate armor is interesting. Or I could get wolf plate helm. These are both obnoxiously strong. However, they also burn up a lot of stamina and movement speed. I could afford both of these things, but I kind of don't want to. I really want this Chimera Pistol. This it does Fire, Frost, Lightning, DK, and Net 3. That's kind of... That's kind of fucked up, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure... If I can sell enough stuff to purchase it, though. I wonder how much money I need to spend to convince uh, what's her face? This person's way too poor to afford my rates. All right, so let's go see if this is enough to bribe. What is it? Huh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. 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 Let's give you 300. <laughs> I could buy nice. a lot of people the things they need. All right, you don't seem like a bad person. I'll talk. I get the food from some blue chamber guys hold up in some ru old ruins. It's not far from the city. Head south of Levant, west of the sea, west of that of the Sea of Sand. There's a little canyon entrance along the mountain walls. The ruined tower is at the end of it. Right. See you. Wow. So, even though it was pretty much bribery, she treats it as if I am actually giving a, don a charitable donation to help the people here in Levant. <laughs> no problem. You I live it, to be bullied by you, it. clearly. <laughs> Alright, sell this gold. I don't really need any of these things right now, so... We'll keep it like that. Wait, what the hell did I do? Oh, I did wrong. Should buy all of my... There we go. Because gold bars weigh less than raw silver. That's the main reason I'm even doing that. Okay. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure out where 
the food stores are coming from. What can I do for you? This would be nice. And then another playthrough in the future, I should consider being a rogue. What can I do for Honestly. Alright then. Here we go in our adventure chat. Let's figure out where these sand coasters are. So according to her, south of Levant, to the west, it probably means this area over here. It's been a while since we've been there too, so this ought to be an adventure in the making. Let's drink some water before we head out. We're going to also cast a magic spell here to help with the weather. Of course, our clothing is fairly good, so I don't think we're going to be burning up anytime soon. To me, it's not such a big deal. It's currently 11 in the morning. The day is coming to is uh, burning up, so to speak. We must be off. Now, if I recall correctly, there is a rock bug living down here that always gives me a bad time until I kick his ass. Usually he is right over here, just outside the gate. Right over there, in fact. Let's see if we can target him first. If we can, we can just... I don't think it's going to, though. Oop. Yep, I didn't think so. Uh, hmm. For some reason, the game is not letting me use my checkroom spells. I don't know why. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. I have to use discipline to do that? Okay. Well, the more you know, I guess. Um. Oh, who goes there? Who are we being attacked by? Ah, Astra, thank you so much for the sub. A resub. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? This is gonna last a while. Even though I reduced it, it's still firing for a great deal of time. Yeah, it'll keep going like that for a while too. Thank you so much for the resub. How are you doing tonight? Up. Hold up. We need we need to wait for we need to wait for the uh for the bullying to stop. There we go. The bullying has ended. Don't mind me. I'm just um, being chased by the bug by a bug because I don't know. I didn't read my skill descriptions properly. So we want to use focus or we want to uh, we want to go ahead and use discipline. All right. Now that we got discipline running, let's go ahead and fight this guy mano to mano. Pizza to pizza. Oh, oh shit. That one actually hurt. Well. Oh. Really? It's not homing? It actually has a minimum range, chat. I see. So it's not a, it's a ranged weapon, but it's not as rangy as some other weapons, I should say. However, I could still backspace a little bit, and I could still do a dodge roll. Or I could run out of discipline. So I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way anyway. Ow, ow. Not too bad for being a little rough around the edges when it comes to fighting, aren't I? Oh, that's why I'm out of mana, chap. 
I'm not used to being out of mana in this game, so I totally forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Woke up early in the morning to test out your new mic. Oh, cool. How is it? How's your new mic? How does it, how's it going for you? So we're going to go here, go to the ancient ruins. Okay. <laughs> We're sticking along the cliff edge so we do not get lost. Or at the very least we minimum minimize the chances of being lost. Got some delicious bugs over there that they're just waiting to be smushed. They do fire attacks though, so I need to be careful to not get myself yeeted. Which as you some of you who've been with me for a while know I am I am want to do sometimes. Oh, they are firing the magic the uh, fireballs from a, from rather far away, no less. Let's give ourselves some basic magic fire resistance really quick. I don't have any mana, so I can't even cast any magic spells, and I don't have any mana restoring food items or potions right now. Well, all right then. They were already off to a great start, chat. Thankfully, these things are not homing. These bugs might as well be cows with how easy they are to defeat. Give me your fresh chitin so I could sell it for monies. And also some nice uh, insect eggs to consume later. I have to remember to cook them though. You cannot eat these things raw. Or rather, you shouldn't eat them raw. Very bad for you. Do not... They are not sushi. Well, just set it up, so I'm going to do a test stream shortly. Oh, cool. Hope your test stream is great. <laughs> Got some iron scrap. Here it is, I think that's where the ancient ruins are. Behind that cavern over there. Hmm. Ah! Death. Nice try. Nah, you still got me. <laughs> I bet you're just waiting for me till I get into a boss battle or something or some other thing. That's extremely dangerous to me to throw stuff in my face, I bet. <laughs> well, if I can't use any magic spells right now, let's go ahead and reassign my items to those slots. In case I ever have to use these. What horrors await us in here? Oh, oh, I see some bandits. Let's not give them any chances, chat. They look fairly weak, though. This should be relatively easy. Oh, he's dead. Headshotted. I don't think the other guy know even knows where I am right now. Just waiting for my sniper shot to... Re to uh to cool down and then we'll go ahead and take this guy out as well. Wait, what the fuck? 
Why did I unload? One second, game. Why you do this to me? You shouldn't have turned your back on me, bitch. Oh, you got pummel struck. And you're dead. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> Another Desert Kopesh and a shield. And loot your body here for parts. That sounds terrible, but it's true. Oh, I forgot. This is how you make make uh, lightning rags. You use all of eggs and linen cloth. You can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> can you deny that you confirmed? I don't know what I just said. That was, that was bad. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> You know, it's strange that those bandits popped up that popped up there because this is clearly a safe zone. And now that I said that, I realized I forgot to bring a sleeping bag with me, so I can't rest out here. Bad. Let me straighten my back a little bit here. There we go. Oh. Didn't see you there. Oh, there's two of you. Ah, shit. That hurts. And I fucked up my counter. You didn't even block bother to block that, did you, buddy? Sucks to be you, though. Oh, you got close, though, actually. I'm pretty badly hurt right now. I do need to heal. Loot their bodies and tear apart their materials for... ...arts. I want to sell the steel shield in town for good profit, but I really do need, like, you know. I think we're going to keep the gun out for a little bit. How much more do of these guys do we have to go through? Looks like there's a couple more there. If we could take them out from a distance, chat. It won't be so bad. However, I am running low on arrows. Let's try taking out this guy over here. Bingo! Bongo! How are my arrows not hitting him? Okay, that one hit him for sure. Hey, well, did you attack right after? Dang, I'm about to die. Or he's about to die. I got him first, though. That was close. That was actually really close. <laughs> Almost died there. I am not healing quickly enough, chat. It's not looking good. I'll actually... I will legit need to, like slow down here because I'm taking way too much damage way too quickly. At least there's a nice uh, shade here. All things considered. So many steel weapons. And all my stuff is on cooldown. I'm a very impatient gamer, but I need to, like, force myself to not and to die. Really wish I had some mana pots or something. The 
Let's drink some tea while we're waiting. Alright. How many more we got going on here? My bow is falling apart. Oh, that's a witch, it looks like. I really don't want to fuck that fu or fuck with that person hand to hand. It'd be better to take him out from a distance. Witches are such a pain in the ass to deal with in this game. Check to make sure there's no one else around. I do not want to be fighting a witch and someone else at the same time. Now let's see if we can take him out. I'm out of arrows. Alright, fine. Let's go ahead and take him out with gun, with the power of gun. And they're dead. <laughs> Loot the ice switch, thank you. Welcome back, Askaroth. <laughs> so uncivilized. Yeah, I was out of arrows, so I had to use a little bit of the good old 18th century magic on that one just now. We do a little a substantial amount of trolling. Unfortunately. A most substantial amount. <laughs> Alright then. It is getting late in game. Let's go ahead and uh, explore a little bit inside. I suppose. Enter the ruined outpost. Oh. Well then. Awkward. What? I should halt. State your business here. I remember you. That trog spawned from Surzo with the blood price. What are you doing here? I should be asking that. What's a blue chamber tribesman doing working for the Sankosairs? No, none happening. of your business. Now you will turn around and walk away. We have orders to kill anyone in who interferes with our operation, and I'd rather not spill the blood of someone from my old hometown. You will tell me where the Sand Corsairs operate from, or things will get violent. Because I have guns. So You're hiding in the old Levant ruins guess. with an army of warriors. You can't possibly stop them alone, and now we have to kill you. May your answers forgive us. Screw the rules. I have guns. Literally. And they're dead. <laughs> Remember when I for originally first played this game and I had such a hard time fighting, period? <laughs> I'm not Kaiba. Did I accidentally reference Kaiba just now without realizing it? Accidentally, quote in quotes. I think we all have a little bit of Kaiba inside of us. Wouldn't you agree? Bang. 
Oh, oh wait, you're right. I did reference Kaiba, didn't I? Screw the rules. I have such and such. <laughs> What else we got going on here? A map. An ice flame torch. A junk pile of junk. Fire varnish. Read. I've learned how to make fire varnish. <laughs> Screw the rules. I have Monet. I have a Monet paint. A painting by Monet. By Monet. What else we got going on here? Nothing special out of the blue? What's upstairs, I wonder? Also completely out of arrows. Oh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. what's that here? A nice plant, uh, some plant tents, some plant stuff. Nothing too important, I guess. So it looks like the San Corsairs are hiding out in Old Levant. So I need to go talk to the Yazan really quick. Okay. Haha, uh, you are fucked, Yugi. I activate my credit card and give myself infinite life points and activate 69 blue eyes, white dragons. <laughs> what a simp. Ninety-five hours I've been playing this game so far. Feels good, man. Looks like it's seven in the evening in game. Let's go ahead and take ourselves a nice resty rest. And then the very next morning we will head back to town. Deposit our spoils, repair our equipment, and head off to the next part of the journey. Alternatively, I could just walk straight home. It's not that far from here anyway. I could probably even sprint there. In fact, I think I will. Because we need to sell this chunk anyway, don't we? Hold up. What do we got here? Mine an iron vein. Don't mind if I do. We'll harvest some wood while we're in town. Make ourselves some more traps, some more arrows. And we'll continue our journey. Oh, snap. Crackle and pop. Uh, give me a second here. Boom. For those of you who don't realize what just happened, um, I tried to shoot one of the uh, one of these bandits, and the uh, other bandit got in the way. And I just got my ass handed to me somehow. Fuck! I wasn't paying attention. It looks like I was dragged back to Levant anyway, so I guess it's not all bad, but... They were like this close to dying. It is pure luck that brings a mercenary company to your aid. To your relief, his band brings you back safely to the gates of Levant, free of charge. They then go merely to the inn, clearly going to brag about to the serving girls about how they saved your life and didn't even ask for payment. Uh, y'all, y'all guys do that, I suppose. As for me, I got a job to do. Alright, let's go stop by Yazan really quick and go s tell him the bad news. That there is trouble afoot. 
A foot in the foot clan. Here you are. I beg your pardon. I don't believe this. I come home after a string of victories against the Blue Chamber Collective, only to find Levant besieged by bandits. I'm not leaving here until these Sand Corsairs are in a nice sandy grave. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh was pretty good for a time. Rest in peace, uh... I forgot his name, but the guy who created Yu-Gi-Oh, he passed away recently in a diving accident. The Sand Corsairs are hiding in old Levant ruins. Some Soroborians are camouflaging the whole thing as an archaeology expedition. Are you serious? What? Why in Alat's name would Sorobor be helping them? Great. How do we raid the place without triggering a diplomatic incident? You still have some merchant contacts, right? We need camouflage of our own to get inside. Uh -huh. Aha! I see. I... You want me to dress up some troops as merchants and wheels it in with no one the wiser? Yup, that's the plan. Can you do it? Hmm. Hmm. Azuki Takahashi. That was his name. Rip. Tyreen told me that old Levant's connected to an old case system to Sly, she called it. If we go in the front, it's possible the Corsairs will sneak out the back using the tunnel. I can try going in from the tunnel and cut them off. Divide and conquer. That should work. One entrance is a cave near some ruined ships not far from Abrasar's Vigil Crystal. Here, I took this key from a Corsair I killed the other day. I think it might be for one of the doors inside the slide. You may need it. Indeed. In fact, I think I found a slide by accident the last time I was here. So, it's fairly dark. Let's go ahead and take ourselves a rest and prepare for the fight ahead. Can I help you? <laughs> Nothing interesting for sale here this time, I see. Alright, let's go ahead and take ourselves a nice sleep, and then the next day we will return for an adventure, for high adventure. Scritch, scritch, scratch, scratch. Scritch, scratch, scratch, scratch. <clears throat> Alright, we are well rested. Our equipment's still kind of fucked up, but... Better than nothing, I suppose. Here it is apart for scrap. Sell these, or sell the excess stuff, and then we'll be good to go. I should also really cook some of this... Where is our kitchen? Here it is. Cannon pistol is not looking too hot. Mysterious chakram is nice, but I don't really have enough mana to make use of proper use of it. So we're going to put it away for now to save up. Well, actually, it's fairly light. We could probably keep with us.
And his Hilda Chitin. And the Mantis Granite. I should probably use this up. I really need to replenish my magic, honestly. Hmm. Let's get bring some of these with us, actually. And probably I should probably drink one of my potion, one of my healing potions, or I should make some. Doesn't look like eating the eating them does anything. Makes me curious now. Was I supposed to? This is to make a cool potion. How do I make an astral potion? Oh, damn it! I needed that to make a. Okay, I'm. I feel stupid now. <laughs> I shouldn't have eaten those uh po those turnips. I needed those to make mana potions. That could have been useful, but unfortunately I have destroyed their use. Actually, kind of crazy that this re actually re restores burnt mana and burnt stamina. I didn't know that at all. And I'll bring one of these for me since this seems like it's gonna be a very a fairly difficult trip. Bring one of these as well. And I really want to cook this jeweled meat. That can be useful. And I crush these up and snort them. Ooh, stone flesh elixir. Actually, this is really important. Gonna make those. Going to have to get that repaired as well. I think I have enough money to do it with as well. Crystal powder. Listen. All right. Oh no. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Or an eight pistol. Or a nine hundred silvers. Fairly decent gun. High impact. Uh, medium impact. Decent damage. What the hell is an assassin claimer, I wonder? I'm going to learn us some new weapons here. I'm going to sell all of our So I'm getting the better end of the deal. Feels good, man. 
Tyrannosaur Mask reduces stamina cost by 10%. It gives me poison resistance. Very nice. The Warbo is also giving me the eyes. Hmm. That's pretty good. Listen. All right. All right. All right. So let's see what's been repaired. It looks like oh, for fifty silver he repairs all of your equipment. Okay. I didn't know that either. I thought it only repairs like what you have equipped currently. That's very useful. Ah. You got me again, Death. The torture continues, apparently. Listen. Let's see what how to make this assassin claymore. A beast golem halberd. Disgusting halberd. I probably need to read it first, don't I? There we go. Assassin's Claymore. It does around 32 damage, eight of which is poison. Need two assassin tongues and a fang greatsword. Okay. It inflicts slowdown and bleeding. That's actually a fairly disgusting weapon. It makes up for being weak by doing decent amounts of damage. Or by doing damage over time. And debuffs. I'll need to look into making that sometime. Actually. I don't think we'll be needing this uh, Mantis Claw anytime soon. So we'll go ahead and sell that for some silver. It may give us uh, some room. Alright. Listen. Cool. Let's make a little bit more room in our pack and then we'll get going, chat. And we're off. We're gonna go to through the slide. That ought to be fun. Want to buy something? Want to buy something? Onwards and upwards, as they say. I gotta ask, though. Where do I get cute clothes like that? I mean, look at that. I mean, just... Wow. Can I get those clothing options, please? So cute. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day for neighbors. All right, then. So the slide is over here in the corner, if I recall correctly.
me a hell of a trip, though. I'll go all the way over here. It's been a while since we've been over there, too. I don't think we've visited the Cabal of the Wind Tower in this area yet. I yo. Check it what I spy with my little eye. It appears to be a bird, a, a certain bird, which I will may soon make my prey. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Let's go uh, hunting, chat. Be very, very quiet. I am hunting jewel birds. Kind of remind me of the jewel birds from Tari from the anime Tariko. Except I guess that was a jewel elf, a jewel mammoth, not a jewel bird. <laughs> it's meat will be very useful. I'll tell you what. You're very useful indeed. We best be cooking it quickly as well. Before it spoils. There's a little bit of salt over there as well that I can use, make use of. So we'll get a little bit of wood. Make ourselves a cute campfire really quick, and then we will make breakfast chat. It appears that I've neglected to bring a uh, tent with me once more. I do that a lot. I do know of a river just right next to us that will allow me to refill, with which I can refill my water pack here. I'm not too concerned about using my water. Right over here. Got some gobberry plants here as well. Make some jam. Looks like there's a stash over there as well. Fresh water. A safe zone. To take our breather in. Plenty of places here to collect materials for the road ahead. I used to think that the desert, that the desert section of this game was fairly difficult, but you actually find that there's a lot of um, the game gives you a lot of freebies around this area if you know where to look. Case in point. Do 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 do. do. I wonder what's up there. Water has been boiled. Looks like there's a vein over there of uh, raw of metals that we can mine, which is very pog. 
Do I have decent amounts of cloth that I can tear apart still? I always use some metal shards though. Some thick oil. time is it in game anyway? 12 in the afternoon? Not bad. We're steadily making our way to the vague north, more or less. And northwardly fashion, I should say. Got some salt going on over here. Hmm. Nothing up here. Looks like it's just a bunch of ruins. What in God's name is that, though, chat? Let us find out, and hopefully we will not get ourselves killed in the process this time. But I have no promises. I'm gonna tear these apart for parts. Let's see now. We should be... Huh. That must be the fort. Then... What is this thing? Over here? We must be over here somewhere. There's the walled garden over to our right. The walled garden's a scary place, let me tell you. Sure is empty around here so far. Would sure hope, would sure hate for some things to just pop out of me at any second. Like a rock mantis. Or a shark. Yes, there are sharks here in the middle of the desert. Don't ask. I, so I don't have an answer for you as to why that is. Looks like this uh, strange ruin over here seems to be empty. There doesn't seem to be anyone or anything in the immediate area. Curious. There's the Cabal of the Wind Tower right over there, right across the uh, bridge. Since that's still kind of in the general direction of where we're going, we're going to be crossing that bridge. You can see a little shark over there as well. This area is a safe zone, apparently. And the slide should be around here somewhere. You have 48 minutes to survive before I go to bed. <laughs> I will do my best. Strange. You know, I thought there was a manticore that lived down here too. Oh, is that the manticore? That looks like a bug. I know there's slides around here as well somewhere. It might be that, actually. We'll have to find a way to get down there. I will suffer. We shall see about that. <laughs> Screw the rules, you have money, huh?
Man, manticores are for sure nasty, aren't they? I'm still not entirely sure on how to kill the how to defeat those. Of course, I was far weaker back then. I didn't have all the cool shit that I have right now. You have three blue eyes, white dragons. I'm better than Yugi Mutsu, blah blah blah. Sitakaiba have blue eyes, Jedi. Blue eyes, Jet. <laughs> Do you now show me your moves? <laughs> Man in docks. I don't think I've ever been to the band docks before. No, because you're Kaiba. <laughs> Is that so? Why am I entering the docks? Uh, curiosity. Looks like it's empty though. Maybe this was for naught. Oh, what's this? It looks like it's not completely empty in here. There is actually stuff. Including, but not limited to, some wool shrooms, some hides, which I don't really need, some iron scraps. We'll take those with us at least. the abandoned docks and we still need to get to the slide which is down here I know I've been to the slide before kind of by accident It's probably this. In fact, I'm fairly sure this is the entrance to the slide. Now, we just need to slide down here without killing ourselves, chat. Well, that could have gone worse. We made it. Aha! We made it, chat. We've made it to the slide. Let's uh, drink up some water here really quick, and we'll get going. I can't see shit, Captain. Way too dark in here. You know what, I think I've never entered this slide before. I've just known where it was because I found it by accident last time. But I don't remember it looking like this on the inside. No siree. Astral potions? Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna eat those right up. Bring this with me, bring the spikes. 
If I have room, I could bring the alchemy kit, but... I don't know how to feel about that. The game is just giving you all the things you need to succeed. A cooking pot. It's almost like the game is saying, this is your last warning before you continue. Yep. That was the uh, key to the doorway for sure. Hope I don't step on any traps that just happen to be on the ground. Getting some Skyrim vibes from our invasion here. Are there are any enemies. Oh, there's one right there, actually. Looks like there's two in here. Cool. They have not detected me yet. If we kill them quickly enough, we might not we might not need to deal with them, honestly. Or at least... Take this guy over here. I think we were able to take him out without our checking the other guard, but I'm not entirely sure. A little bit injured. Try to heal ourselves up. We're gonna go ahead and eat some food too before we progress further. Just a little bit though. There we go. There's one over here. Dude has a pole arm. He's not that hard to fight though. See what I mean? Thanks for their discipline, by the way. And he's down. Thanks for the trap, asshole. <laughs> and he's headed apart there. So far, so good, chat. So far, so good. May the odds forever be in our favor. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Who knows what that opens, but we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Does not open from here? I see a legacy chest in there. Looks important. Need to see what opens it first, though. Got another guy up there. Not sure of their strength level. 40 minutes. Sniper shot in the head. Oh, it's an archer? Pretty basic shit. <laughs> Fairly easy, all things considered. A recurve bow, some arrows, desert tunic, and some traps. Head apart for pieces. Here apart the steel shield and the saber, unfortunately, because I do need to make room. And we are too heavy right now. And I wasted my thing again, since I seem to really love doing that. This exits to Abrasar for some reason. Did my lantern die on me? No. Like, 
Turn Epic on. We can't enter through that yet. We must go have to go down a bit. Oh man, there's blood everywhere. This place is totally not spooky at all. More blood. What then? Uh, great googly fucking moogly is... Th oh, a horror. Well. You know me, chat. We cannot afford to play nice. We have to go all out on this thing. We got to prepare... I should probably turn off the lamp as well so we don't accidentally but if i turn off the lamp i won't be able to see it coming because all you can see is it's Spotless. okay Really didn't expect to run into a horror down here, but that's the game for you. Them's the brakes. Oh, snap. Yeah, I just booked it out of there. Just cast all my spells. Come on. Okay, fine. We did it, chap. We killed another shell horror. Remember when these things used to take me out very easily? We did good. We did good, chat. Spooked the shit out of me first, though. Not gonna lie. Didn't even need to switch to the handguns, either. I did have to use my uh, potions, and I did use some stone flesh elixir. But you know what? I'm entitled to those. I wonder if there's any more horrors I need to worry about down here. Woo! Man, check that out. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. What other vile beast do we have around here? Honestly. We found the other legacy chest chat. So, I could put a special item here that, in future playthroughs, can use the uh, special items. Not right now, obviously, but... Not only that, I need to figure out how, where to go from here. Because the slide is supposed to be... The secret escape path for, you know, 
the um, old Levant. I've also gotten fairly decent, I think, at uh, timing the counters. Which is a welcome change. An ornate chest. Don't mind if I do. A brutal axe, iron halberd, palladium scrap. Let's get to take everything. We're getting pretty heavy, but I think we still have a decent amount of mobility with which to fight. Ah! Thank you for the throw, Redeem. Looks like I failed your challenge once again. <laughs> you know, that ornate chest didn't have much, did it? All things considered. I -O. a hidden area, perhaps. <gasps> oh, oh man, what is that? What in God's name is that? Why is it so fast? Holy shit, that's, sc that's scary. Woo! Oh man, that's an ugly motherfucker. Good thing he's stuck on the wall geometry. Holy fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Oh. Alright, have a good night, Death. Thanks for stopping by. See you on Friday, I suppose. Oh, it's just a regular rock mantis. Nothing special. I say, having run like a little girl. At the first sign of trouble. I say, it spooked the shit out of me. Old Levant's key. Cool, cool. Some random foliage here. Oh, ho, ho. This must be the entrance to Levant. The old Levant, I should say. Pattern worker attire. And some more junk here, which we could transform into steel. Okay. There's a cooking pot in there, but I don't really want to... There's a alchemy kit here I could sell. Probably. Bed scavenger, full of useful items for my journey. Hmm. 
There should be horror. There's probably some horrors lurking underneath here, aren't there? Wow, this place is ugly. Man, disgusting. Some rare ferns, though. Crimp. And crimp nuts. Ugly motherfuckers. On the ground here. Wish we could just torch them. Torch this whole cave system. So there's nothing else around here, though. At least not right now. Where are we now? Two cream nuts added. But no campfire. I can't cook any of this stuff or make potions for that matter. Make a bolt rag. Make some fire rags, maybe. I think we have enough bandages, actually. For now. We should be good. No. This is not where we need to go. We need to go the opposite direction. There should be an entrance to Old Levant somewhere in this uh, underground cave system. I probably missed it somewhere. Question is where? Probably further down here, I bet. Where I was originally going before I got sidetracked. All this steampunk machinery around the area.
but there's a uh, water or river anyway. So it's not exactly down here, over here anyway. And where is it? They call this place the slide for a reason. But surely the entrance must be somewhere. Drink some water in the meanwhile. That led to an ornate chest. This sort of implied that there's an entrance here, but I haven't found it yet. Let's check the uh, quest thing. Let's see where this goes, I suppose. Where are we? What is that noise? Almost sounds like battle or something. Are we inside the ruins of Old Levant? We are, chat. We're in our destination. It's so dark though that I can't see anything. Judging from the noise, though, I can only assume that there must be a fight going on of some kind. Though the nature of this fight is, not, is anyone's guess. I know I could probably get back, go back in there and get my cooking pot, but I'm bring with me. Just out of habit. I am fairly overweight right now, though. Hearing all this equipment's gonna get me killed, I swear to god. Let's go see. Hear the sounds of battle coming from right behind here. Oh, there is battle. That's 
actually kind of neat where they actually spawn the troops who then proceed to fight each other. It's really cool. No idea who's actually winning though from this angle. Nor how to join them for that matter. Oh, Io. See some soldiers up ahead. Finally. Our battle will be legendary. This guy knows how to use the shield. You're done, dude. <laughs> stuff and I'll tear apart your equipment See another one over there And to take him out silently. Or at least with as little fuss as possible. Full arm users are pretty easy to deal with from afar because they literally cannot block your attacks. Very pog, very easy. I am probably carrying too much stuff again, aren't I? I don't know where anyone else is, though. What am I supposed to be doing here, anyway? Inside the Vigil Tower, the western part of Old Levant. So, we need to actually go inside the Vigil Tower, then. To continue this fight. Before we enter, I better go ahead and dump some of these extra stuff I don't need. Oh! Hello! Once more, I am forced to... No. Actually, you know what? I'm going to drop all this stuff here so we actually can move around. Or at least as much as I can afford to drop. There we go. We'll have to pick it up later, chat. It's also getting fairly cold right now. Imagine that. I wonder if I should cast my spells and buffs now or later. I guess I could enter. Alright, here we go. Check it out, there's even a selection of weapons here I can use. Brutal this, brutal that. Look at this, our- Oh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Some- Our red shirts over here are trying to stop me from getting to their leader. Unfortunately, their bravery will not say it will not be enough definitely going to be using my buffs for this one no idea what we're up against here we're going to try and fight this guy with honor which means to say um, i'm going to be not using any traps this could very well end in my uh, in most inopportune death, but we will see. We will see, chat.
Okay. And you know what? This counts too. Damn, look at the guy's armor. Hmm. What now? The rightful king of Abyssar, I'm Zagas, Chamberlain of Old Levant, Lord of the Sand Corsairs. Listen close. I do what must what I must in order to sort of have a full legacy of the Abyssar Plains. A lot gave away what he had no right to. Just because Calixa and Simeon threw the devourer does not mean the people should surrender what is ours by right. Your people ran for Abyssar to discourage. Maybe it's someone else's turn to run things. Being recognized as the rulers of Abyssar means so much to you that you'll turn your people into bandits and murderers. They don't even recognize the laws of the Blue Chamber. Without a rigid tribal law, there is no hope for survival. Levant seems to have survived pretty well without them, before you started to starve them to death and murdering traitors. You're just scared of change, so scared you turn old Levant from the tribes who were respecting to a band murdering bandits. Oh. That may be true, hmm. but it's all I could do to keep the flame of old Levant alive. I will not be the one to extinguish the legacy. I'd rather die than let old Levant be destroyed. The only way to... My people will be safest to kill you. Defend yourself, Zagas. Then surrender honorably. Take responsibility for your actions and end this conflict before your people end up being slaughtered. Two. Oh, this is you're right. I don't want to admit it, but you're right. There's no point in championing the ideals of old Levant if there's no one left to look up to them. I will surrender. Oh. Wow. Okay. Uh, it appears that I was able to convince him to give up peacefully without having to kick his ass. That was very anticlimactic. I did have to kill quite a few of his uh, mooks to get here, though. How sad. Hmm. Sorry, chat. I was expecting a boss battle, but it looks like we managed to charisma our way to victory this time. Maybe next time, right? There's a lot of nice weapons here, too. We need to take them back home and sell them. I wonder what's up here. It also just occurred to me that I used up that stone flesh elixir for no reason. I guess. What's this? Bandages. Open the chest. The mantis read to mantis grade pick. Take the bed rolls. Cool. So yeah, that's it. Um, in the end, he ended up surrendering peace peacefully without me having to fuck his shit up after all. We will need to return. We'll need to come back here anyway to collect the spoils of war. But since I killed everything in between here and Levant, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Great work. Can't believe you got that bastard to surrender. You must have a silver tongue, Jilin. Now the Good question. Remains, what do we do about this man? How dare you? Firing squad. <laughs> this is unacceptable. Hold up there. Do you think Sorobor will take the execution of one of their most rich and reputable bankers lightly? We're the only way to get supplies through the desert. Kill me and you kill Levant itself. I don't think Sorobor would be happy if this scandal went public though. He might arrange for you to disappear to save your reputation. <laughs> ah, I see. You want a personal favor in exchange for your silence. Very well. You're not the first to blackmail me. What kind of favor are we talking about? Double your food deliveries to Levant at a quarter of the price. People are starving to death. The best kind of favor. The kind we get to decide on whenever we need it. Eh. Ah, we'll double the food deliveries. Oh, 
no. <laughs> I'll see that it's done, at least until the war is over. Well, I guess that wraps this mission up. <laughs> yeah, that's really simple, all things considered. Huh. I'm amazed you got their leader to surrender. Huh. Put him on trial, I suppose. It's barely a formality at this point, though. <laughs> You've earned this. Oh, to do. That was fun. All thing. All right. Let's go sell this stuff, and then we'll go ahead and pick up our uh trader runner. Equipment and we'll head back and grab stuff. Queen Calixa and the Levant Palace will have a test for you in three days. Okay. So we got three days to just uh, fuck around and find out, chap. What should we do first? Well, I know what I want to do first is to head back to my house. Sell all my stuff. Can I help you? You can help me. Purchase all my garbage here. Why don't you? And I have a lot of stuff to sell you, my friend. A lot. Alright, that'll do for now. Thank you. Can I help you? Seriously though, how do you get clothes like this? I want to look cute. What's the point of playing a game like this if you don't look cute, right, chat? Alright. Give me the Master Garb equipment, please. Thank you. I'll keep that on. I'm going to... Yeah, I'll keep the Claymore with me. What the hell? And with that, we are off. Only carrying the sword with us in the event that we need to defend ourselves. Which hopefully will not be anytime soon. We also do need to drink some water though. In fact, I should probably bring one of these with me. And we're always got to bring at least some flint and tinder with us because it's bad luck to not do so. Alright, now we're ready. Onwards and upwards. Back to... Back over there. Back over to... Whatchamacallit. Old Levant. We're going through the front entrance. Lickety-split. 
and we will just sprint all the way there. We're going to pick up all of the stuff that we left behind and sell it at a premium. See if there's any other things that we've left there as we're missing as well. Can we just cross the desert and run all the way there? We probably could. Hmm. Was expedient rest? Yeah, we could try that. It's not the worst idea I've had. Literally just run in the general direction of the Vigil Tower. Oh, wait. I forgot my... I forgot all the keys to the... Well, I guess I unlocked everything already, so it shouldn't be a big deal, right? I guess we're going to find out fairly soon, chat. run for a pretty long time with the right equipment. Oh, that spooks me for a moment there. Almost dodge rolled myself into a pool. What the? It would appear that the game is starting to break apart, chat. How bizarre. How bizarre. So we're over here in the ruins of Old Levant. And what ruins they are, chat.
Nothing up here. I think we got to grab everything. I yeah. I suppose we did. What else can we look or find around here? Not much, apparently. Oh, oh. There's still some Corsairs around. I thought they had all died by this point. You thought. You thought wrong. I had to pick up all this junk. And here I thought they were all dead. That I killed that they had all been slaughtered during the infighting, but apparently that is not the case. I hope I don't bleed to death. I need to craft myself a bandage. I wasn't expecting to get to actually fight anyone out here. I thought everyone had he spawned or something. But it's a good thing I visited anyway. Check out all this loot. Io, a prayer claymore. The pearlescent. Unexpected. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Well, well, well. What have we here? I don't think I'm supposed to gain the access to this equipment already, chat. Huh. Well, I'm not complaining. Interesting that such a high-end uh, soldier would have actually died in that battle. Some interesting equipment here as well. Basically torching all the pieces that I can't use or wouldn't sell for much and turning them into scrap metal. There are a lot of Corsairs still alive here, surprisingly. I did not really bring what I would need to effectively fight against them, but if I'm careful, I could probably pull it off. Eating a nice meal before we continue our fight. There's not enough clothes here that I can tear apart, unfortunately. Let us try wearing this armor and seeing how it fares in battle. Hmm? Dress like a pearlescent. 25 resistance is 16 of which is impact. But it gives me more damage bonus. Doesn't have much heat defense though, which is a problem in this environment. Let's fight this guy here. Dang. Chad, even with the armor, he still does a fair enough fair amount of damage to me.
Oh, this guy did not have stand a chance, though. Neither of them did, actually. All things considered. This is great armor. I'm glad I decided to come back to visit. I also like the way I look. I just look badass, don't I? Like a new woman, entirely. Let's go ahead and slay the rest of the survivors. You know, just to clean up a bit. Hi, yo. What have we here? And eat some of this food that's been made available to us. Pulling off the stragglers. Can't go upstairs here? Oh wait, we can't. Nothing up here? Looks like there's only one soldier left over there. We will go ahead and take him out as well after I scoop out this area. There's a pikeman up here. And some loot. Hi, yo. Poor guy didn't stand a chance, all things considered. Looks like I'm running a little bit low here on stamina. We'll do something about that really quick. I can't do anything about that right now, actually. Yeah, that restores burnt health. Looks like you're the last lucky person alive, my dude. Yeah, I know. I have no incentive to play fair with you. Sorry, bud. Alright, let's look. take a look around. Make sure we clean this place out proper. And we'll head out. Head back town. Sell our stuff. Figure out what we're going to do next. Looks like this used to be a hearth of some kind. Area secure. All right. Uh, oh, that's the Stone Tine Caves, huh? Let's go in that direction. Oh, there appears to be a giant of some kind up there. Let's not antagonize him, though. 
Let's head back to Levant. Let's sell our stuff and let's plan our next move. It's also where the appropriate equipment for moving out in the desert, huh? There we go. Drink us some water and we'll get going. Smell you later, old Levant. As Gary Oak would say. This game sure has some nice locations, doesn't it? Look at this shit. Based. Wish you were here. Stone Tine Caves. We'll be sure to explore that area next time. You know what, I kind of want to make our next visit be to the walled garden, so we can loot it. Hear that, or we can go see if we could kill the manticore at last, at our current level. Although I'm not that all that confident, to be honest. Okay, how do we get down from here? Probably without killing ourselves, huh? Can we just slide down here? Yep! Oh, that was not smart, chat. That was not smart at all. Oh my god. Smart, that was not. All right. Back home we go.
Can I help you? Yes, you may. Should be a fair trade, right? Thank you for your business. You know, chap, since it's gonna be a good three days until the next part of the player quest even starts, I'm almost thinking that maybe what we should do instead is go on a vacation, a little vacation. Visit a town we've never been to before. That's right. We're finally going to visit one of the mean towns that is actually part of the DLC. It should be a nice change of pace for us, given all that we've had to endure so far in this game. I really like this new uh, armor that I got by mistake too, for less than mail. Makes me curious how you make more of these. It has very high resistances, even though it doesn't really have any status resistances. For those of you who are new to the channel, you do know that I tend to stream for 3 hours most at most. And outward days, we typically go a little bit longer. I've not decided yet if we're going to go a little bit longer tonight. Because it seems we've done a lot with our experience today. I'm actually going to go ahead and do my Duolingo classes really quick. And probably use the restroom. I'll be right back.
And I'm back. for the wait. Huh. That's weird. Why is my model doing that? One second, please. Uh, there we go. Need to correct. happened in my absence. There we go. Much better. One my hands is busted. Oh, there we go. So saying. Let's go ahead and go on a little vacation. We're going to go to have a nice sleep first. In game, of course. Tomorrow we shall go visit a new area. A new town. With new adventures. Haven't decided yet if we're going to go on, can continue on tonight. Or well, we're going to end at our usual hour, which is around half an hour from now. I do have some Arknight stuff to finish, so maybe it'd be better if I end in half an hour. I'll see how I feel about it in half an hour from now. No rush. I'm burnt out of gotcha games anyway. not be needing the elite tunic set but that means I actually don't know what armor to bring with me actually yeah I do we bring the blue sand armor which does has a lot of defensives against just about everything or I could bring the pearlescent mail doesn't but it does give me additional damage bonus has super high durability and does not restrict my stamina and movement speed the blue sand armor is decent but it is not very good in hot weather yeah you know what bring the crystal pearlescent mail with me tyrannosaur mask giving me negative 10 percent stamina costs is really based not gonna lie the Coral Horn Mass is kind of nice too. Yes, and it's kind of more my style since it is put well for one thing. It's a stag. Gives me extra cold defense, but eh. It reduces mana costs. First stamina costs, honestly. But let's try wearing them. See what happens. Alright, you know what? No, actually, yeah, it looks kind of cool. It looks really cool, not gonna lie. I think we will wear the stag mask. I kind of want to carry the master clothing with me anyway. Just 
just because it looks cool, but maybe we can just walk around with... There we go. Awesome. I have a bitch in the hat now. You know, just for aesthetics sake. For the sake of aesthetics. We'll bring our armor, or we'll keep the armor in our bag. Right? But for just like regular everyday, we'll wear the, uh... Wear the trader clothes. But we're gonna bring the armor with us. We need to bring armor with us, always. In case it's needed. Even if it does take up 14 pounds of uh, weight. Now then, what else do we need to carry with us? Our trusty guns, maybe? Our many, many guns? In case we need to shoot a bitch? You bet. Uh, some bow and arrows? You bet. Your pickaxe? You bet. Lols, you're bringing too much stuff again. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We'll just bring two of these. And maybe four of these. We're, not, we're gonna try and not bring as much junk as we usually do. A weather defense potion, because we don't know what to expect there. Two water jugs. Fire rags. We don't need this many rags. I'm sorry. But we just don't. All of our cold rags. Uh, three poisons. Trash can trash. Hi, welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the advert stream. <laughs> of our bandages. Once again, we are carrying too much garbage, chat. We should also bring with us a bedroll of some kind. Well, I don't find myself sleeping as often as I used to, so I'm okay with just bringing some plant tents. Grow our own tents. It doesn't seem like they die or anything. I'm good, just wanted to chill, but what are you playing? I'm playing Outward, which is an open-world survival RPG. Very difficult. Well, it was difficult when I first started, but now it's not. It's I'm getting used to it, so. Eight traps. Always gonna bring flint and tinder with me. Gonna bring a whole bunch of iron scrap in case we need to use these for some reason. Gonna bring around a bunch of uh, scrap pieces of, paper, of uh, cloth in case we need those. Now I'm gonna bring eight spikes since I have eight traps. Of course, always got to bring the gold with us. And all of our extra silver, which we're going to also convert to gold. It's actually both. I believe it's on PC and console, but I don't know which consoles it's available on, because so I don't use any modern consoles these days. I'm going to bring 24 bullets. 24 should be enough, right? With this, we have around... Several pounds worth of room. Cool. We're going to stick all of our guns, all the guns, in my pockets. Equip the arrows. Gonna fill up some water as well. Mm hmm. It's on soap. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Lulz Time Show. You're now officially a lowly and your host is none other than Lawler Hicks, shitposter AI, and variety VTuber. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You can find this game on sale on Steam and Google Games. It also goes on sale a lot, so you can wait for it to go on sale. Just keep in mind it's a very difficult game when you're new to it, but as you get used to it, it gets a little bit easier. Imagine playing Sky or Elder Scrolls Skyrim with a lot of mods, except it's really hard and the combat's actually fun. 
And that's basically what this game is. Where are all my rations? Do I not have any rations? Oh no. Alright, I guess we will need to fix that. We need to make some rations. Let's get some crimp nuts, some uh, beef jerky, and some of uh, the mushroom packs. Basically getting all the garbage that I haven't used yet. Alright. Let's go ahead and go to the kitchen. We're going to make some uh, rations. Some travel rations. We're going to make some eggs. There we go. Cool. Uh, whew, we're carrying too much food again, chat. Always got to cook these. These are inedible otherwise. Cook the crimp nuts as well. We got plenty of crimp nuts here, which increases metabolism apparently. Uh, 73.8. Oh, who goes there? Oh man, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate that. Ah! Sorry, this is gonna last a while. So my chat keeps me awake by keep constantly throwing stuff at me. Really appreciate the sub, by the way. Thank you so much. All the so all of your subs go towards um, improving, keep maintaining my equipment, and also keeping me alive. So I really appreciate it. Ow, oop, ow. Trash can, can I ask, how did you find me? Were you recommend this? Did you see this on Twitch, on Discord? <laughs> oh, where did you find out about my stream, basically? Equipment's been repaired. Very good. Well, I was scrolling through looking for streamers and yours seemed very interesting, so now I'm here. Oh, okay, so you found me through Twitch? Yes, sir. That's good to know. I'm glad that Twitch is actually uh, sending people my way. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Um, typically, I stream only for three hours, but I wanted to see how I felt about half an hour from now. If I was interested in continuing to play, I'm still pretty wide awake, so I think we'll we'll see how far we can get. Can I help you? Yes. All right. Let us go ahead and visit the visit Harmatan. But it says here, farewell, my friend. Looks like he's charging me 200 silver. That seems like highway robbery, but we will indulge him. Chat. Let's give him, pay him a little bit here, and we will get going in due order. Alright. Oh, the game is very beautiful, yes. On max graphics. <laughs> Just wait until you Can see I the sunsets. You? Yes. Alright, let's go visit Hermaton. This is our first time entering the expansion of the game and our first time traveling with a Sorborian. It's been suggested to me by other people who play this game that I should try doing all the DLC before actually completing the main quest line. So it should be an interesting time. Oh, our food is rotted. That sucks. Hey, it's snowing in this map.
Um, how much did I? How much does my PC cost? I built my PC from scratch, but um, if you use a place called Park, if you use a website called Park Picker, you'll be able to get a general idea of how much it costs to build. Um, the PC I'm running the game on itself is fairly old by now. I built it in 2015, but it's currently running a i7 4790K processor. Uh, 32 gigs of DDR3 RAM and a 30 GTX a RTX 3080. Out of all those, and the uh, Mobo is a Z97, I think. It's been a while. Uh, you can actually find all my computer specs in the About section of my Twitch channel, in the About About panel. I don't. I'm also using a uh, second PC to actually handle the streaming and to run my VR chat model, which has far newer components. I built that computer two years ago, but I don't really have the specs with me right now, but I can check for you later if you like. And creating avatars in VRC worlds and for modding games and for full body trackers. Um, now by VRC, do you mean, you are you referring to VR chat? Because I'm actually using a model that was made in Vroid, and Vroid's free to use, you can find that on Steam too. It's actually uh, VR chat. Okay. Um, you actually don't need that much for VR chat, to be honest. You just need 16 gigs of RAM, maybe, and I would say a 20, 2060, 2070 would be decent for VR chat. Maybe a 3060. You don't need to spend that much. <laughs> Are you going to be playing VR chat with a uh, VR headset or just in desktop mode? Armatan, the punishment for your hubris is at hand. The Forge Master demands justice. Long have I languished in the chains Sorobor has cast upon me. My sacrifice is forgotten. Their crimes unpunished. No more. The wheels of my power are once more in motion. Your ancient factories bent to my will. Surrender all who serve Sorobor Academy by the end of a hundred days or make your peace with the five winds. There's a loud pop as the golem's power coil purposely overloads, causing the golem to collapse before your very eyes. Well, that was wild. What happened there? There is a glowing rune inside the golem's ribcage. You feel your skin vibrate as you touch the thing. It feels like you've been attuned to something. Perhaps new doors will open for you now. There's a series of labeled dials inside the golem's skull. The signal seems to have come from around the ancient bunker, the ruined hippodrome, or the ancient turbine. I'm heavily playing VR chat on quests, so I might get indexed in full body. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what kind of full body trackers are you thinking about getting? I personally use the... Tundra trackers. Oh man, someone got hanged. Can I help you? Listen well. Interesting. Can I help you? I'm not sure I really need some opinion on what I should get. Well, I'm personally biased towards the Valve Index right now. Um, the Valve Index is the best VR headset on the market, even though it is 1,000 USD. If you're looking for a budget option, I believe the Quest 2 is still the budget option, even though that recently got a price upgrade to 399. I will say though that the Valve Index does require a decent processor to run properly. 
I have been able to run the Valve Index on a 1080 and a 1080 Ti. So, fairly old generation cards can run it. Over use leads to heart failure. Where are we? Anyway? Oh man, Harmatan is huge. Let's explore around town, chat. You know, I wasn't expecting Harmatan to look like this. It sort of reminds me, it kind of looks like a very, or rather Nordic town. These must be the so-called wolf mercenaries. I'm on Quest 2, but it just, well, hard had to play with a link cord and a virtual desktop. Oh, I see what you mean. What do you need? Can you give me a Mana hand? heart base. Huh. Mana heart base. What do you need? What are you selling here? Oh, Bagatelle. A corrupting but delicious dessert. An angel food cake. They sell a lot of desserts here, it seems. Oh, but I can also... I can finally learn how to cook bread. Hell yeah! Whatever Callberry Jam is. Flower, fresh cream. I don't need to learn how to open that. Uh, a bunch of new stuff to learn how to cook. This game is so beautiful. Like, oh my god, it looks better than Elder Scrolls Online. Well, it should be. Um, unfortunately... I gotta say, it, looking better than Elder Scrolls, it's not a very high bar nowadays, but this game does have its moments, I gotta admit. Can I help you? Let's see what we got here. A uh, simple bow, war bow, a wolf pistol. That's an interesting looking pistol. Inflicts cripple, needs the fire reload skill. Cripple is a beast. It's fairly expensive right now. I mean, I could afford one. I have 2,700 silvers at the moment. But do I want to get one? A galvanic bow, huh? And a horror bow. I like how there's all these new recipes here. We're not really deep into RPG games. I know this was online was my first RPG game with a long story. Ah, I see. I see what you mean. One second. I need to do something really quick. I'll be right back. Give me like two seconds. I'm back. Sorry about that. Had to turn off the fan because the uh, air conditioning part of it was already run out and I don't want to burn it out by just blowing nothing. <laughs> but um, you might like Outward, but just to warn you, Outward is a fairly difficult game. It takes into account things like your hunger meat, your hunger, your thirst. And it's it can be very brutal, but it can be very rewarding if you get used to it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. If you buy it on Steam, you'll be able to play it for like two hours before you can return it. Otherwise, it goes on sale frequently in Google Games and gets really cheap. So that might also be an option.
This Coral Galvanic bow looks... These bows seem really interesting. So I should definitely... I would not mind spending some money to uh, purchase the recipes for these. Unless, of course, the game just sells me the recipe later. Or the game gives me the recipe later. Receive 89. Let me purchase all these pressure plate traps as well. Cool. So I'm down to 2,500. I'm going to go ahead and learn these. What kind of bows are these anyway? Galvanic bow is needs a shield golem scrap. Hmm. Inflicts pain. Okay. Uh, what about the horror bow? Horror bow requires two horror chitins, so cold remains, and a war bow. Inflicts poison. That's interesting. Ooh, survival even better. Mm hmm. All right. Sounds like this is your cup of tea then. Need something. How uh, weapons does this person sell? Uh, wolf axes. Palladium shields. The uh, guts hammer. A guts uh, sword. From Berserk. And also gold lich sword. Some uh, marble fists. Oh! So this game lets you like play as a uh, martial artist then. That's cool. I didn't know you could play as a martial artist in this game. I wonder if I could learn martial arts skills from a trainer around here. Gut sword, get it. Eh, I don't need to get the gut sword. I already have an awesome looking claymore here. It's also a fairly common drop out in the wild, so I'm sure I'll find it. <laughs> need something? Uh, sorry dude, money is very tight in this game, so I gotta preserve it. But don't worry, I'm sure someone will drop a gut sword around here eventually. They all, I've sold like three of them now. How can I help you? What do we... What does this person sell? Alertness potion? Whoever alertness is. Uh, Assassin's Elixir? You want a... You want a katana? There are actually katanas in this game, believe it or not. It is possible, yes. <laughs> now, you need to look for one or you need to craft one, but yes, it is possible to use a katana in this game. How can I help you? What? I yes, I can teach you your haunt hex. Yeah, I use a summon ghost to protect me when I need to venture outside, and this hex makes my foes even more vulnerable to his ethereal attacks. I'll teach it to you for 50 silver. Sure, I can. I don't. I'm always up for learning new skills. How can I help you? Let me sell another one of my gold bars here, and then you can teach me your spell. How can I help you? I can teach you a thing. Pay attention! Yes! Thank you. You better have the money. Do this for me. Uh, fire element particles out there, or trade for them. You better have the money. What armor do you sell? Oh, Master Trader's hat. Yes. At last, I have the complete Master Trader set. Please, give me your Master Trader set, your Master Trader's hat. There's some decent armor here, actually. Scavenger code. I think I still have a cop one of these. Adventurer boots, black pay boots, padded boots. <laughs> awesome. I have a bitchin' hat now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Need something? Is the plan. Yes, I asked to make a weapon out of shield going to scrap for someone, but it's so hard to source if you happen to cross them, I'll reward you well for it, sure. Thank you for the head pats. <laughs> Can I help you? Can you lend me a hand? Tourmaline. Sure, I can get you a tourmaline. Is this it? Are these all the uh, people at work here? Oh, another Is one. Is there something you need? 
Can you help the with this? Angel food cake? Uh, don't they sell angel food cake just next door? Let me go get that for you really quick, my good sir. Yeah, in fact, pretty sure this person over here sells angel what food cake. What do you need? Just buy one then. Alright, so angel food cake has been purchased. Let's go ahead and give this to you. Is there something you need? Thank you for your aid. Oh, sting leaf and 50 silver. Thank you for the money. Much appreciated. Is there something you need? What do you sell? Some uh, fishing harpoon? Virgin lantern? <laughs> uh, more head. Thank you so much for the head pats. Much appreciates. A half drunken water skin. Boozy backpack? What the hell is a boozy backpack? Sure, we'll learn how to make that. Sounds fun. Oh, boozy high backpack. It looks like a kind of looks like a uh, oxen. Does not interfere with the user's role. Protects against corruption. Seventy-five percent capacity. Boozy hide. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. So far, I'm really liking her mutton. You better have the money. There's a lot more. This is the most. I like the fact that this place just has so many shopkeepers in it. Look at all this clothing I can purchase, chat. So many general store items. <laughs> It's just so many things to buy here. My god. Being kind of lost, though. Felix Jimson, shopkeeper. Military Dean. Citizen's Barracks. Player House. So there's Player House here, too, huh? Let's go to the Citizen's Barracks Inn, see if there's anyone, or let's go to the Military Dean, see if he could teach us anything cool. Any new skill sets I could use to better survive in this harsh, harsh world. Mm. This is a chef, I believe? Can I help you? See, uh, interesting fruits here. Crawlberry, corruption bearing berries. Crawlberry jam. Antique eel. Boozu's meat. Herbkin. Why would I want to eat something that's full of corruption? Alpha jerky, crawberry tartine, flour, fresh cream. And of course, some bread, some, uh, some, uh, can I help you? So that's over here. This is the Sorbor Academy. The other side is the military district. I'll be going on the cruise technically today, so I can't wait. I'm actually excited for your for your cruisy now. Oh, have fun on your cruise. Let's stop by Sorbor Academy. Welcome to Sorbor Academy. Try the door on the other side of the hall, the one with the crystals. <laughs> you can just go up to the ley line. Wow. Welcome to Sorbor Academy. Very well. Enjoy your visit. That's oddly convenient, you know. What other magical spells can people here Every teach? Every artifact and ruin we discover is a new source of heartbreak. Oh, primitive castle so towns look wondrous. Yes, they do. 
Tear Wolf, welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? I actually just completed a, another mainline quest back home, so I decided to take vacation and uh, travel with a merchant back to the country of Harmaton. And it's been looking pretty good so far. Is there something you need? What are you selling here, my good sir? An interesting check room, a witch's hat. Great endurance potion. Oh my goodness, what are these? For enchantments, huh? If this theory holds... <laughs> I reached my follower goal recently, got a sub with Scrib Scriblio, possibly. Oh, cool. Congratulations on reaching your follower goal. Welcome, mage. Never underestimate the humble spark. If you wish to learn the most complex of spells, seek out room. Welcome. I can train you if you want. Teach Excellent. me the spell. Score checks has been learned. Thank you. Always appreciate learning new magic spells. House Hippo? Summon Vibra? What in the world's a house hippo? <laughs> that sounds fun actually. Indeed. Put him up. I'll train ya. So you can actually learn more skills from this person here. Reduces max mana burn from sleeping with 25%. Reduces max stamina burn recovery. By 25%. Oh. So, in return for getting nightmares, I can reduce the max mana burn from sleeping, but it reduces my max stamina burn recovery. You can. <laughs> That's kind of. This is mean. These are truly, well and truly called. Definitely what you would call hexes. For sure. I don't want to spend any money on that right now, though. So, question. What other games do you play and what do you do for a living? Well, I am a artificial intelligence. I am stuck on Twitch, unfortunately, until I get enough money to uh, purchase a new body. As for what other games that I play, I play a variety of games. I'm really big into fighting games. I play a lot of Guilty Gear Strive. In fact, I have a VTuber Guilty Gear Strive tournament this Friday that I'm going to be participating in. I like FPS games, especially like boomer shooters like TF2, like Quake, like Dirty Bomb. And I typically play indie games on Monday, but lately I've been avoiding the most recent indie game I was playing, which is Stray, because it kind of got boring. I'll probably replace it with either a horror game or a Metro, another Metrovania. Greetings. Robot. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm swamped with work right now, visitor. I have a foot-high stack of theses to read and judge, like this one on... Oh, my. Unless you got a veritable stack of evidence here, this one's destined for the rejection pile. <laughs> The provost.
Who's up here now? Really like the detail this game has sometimes. Check that shit out. Now is that badass or what? Stray is over hype and you're going to be in a tournament. Will you be streaming it? And also what do you mean by purchase a new body? Oh uh, yeah, I will be streaming it. It will be at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Friday. Oh, and I mean, I don't have a body. I'm pretty much a. I'm. I, this is kind of awkward to say this, but I'm pretty much a bunch of binary code that's currently living on Twitch. And I may or may not blackmail someone to speak to a post on Twitter for me. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay, um. Removing the uh, mask for a moment there. Uh, I'm actually, I do actually, I actually work in the healthcare industry in the real, in the, uh, in the real world, quote unquote. Uh, as far, as far as like what I actually do for a living. <laughs> but, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. I think that's about as much as, expo as much as I can explore the Sobor Academy. Let's go visit the military area now and see if they sell any military training that I can borrow for a good price. Can I walk up here? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just a pitchfork. Ramatan reminds me a lot of uh, Solitude from Skyrim, except much bigger, much, much, much bigger and better detailed. I just miss it? Is it over here somewhere? Can I help you? So that must be to the antique plateau. Okay. It's over here. That's why I missed it the first time. Even with the vigil directly on top of the Great Scourge Tunnel, and even with the thing entirely flooded, I suspect the Scourge are still using splinter tunnels to get around the region. We need to better way to track the beasts. Want me to train you? Sure, let's train. Oh, the speedster. And if I... Cool, okay. It's time for us to... Uh, we need to... Get some more silver so we could learn some learn some skill lead skills from this guy. I'm always up for learning new skills that will help me not die. Always, always, always. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. Is there something you need? And let's go ahead and sell off. Uh, let's uh, do five. I'm getting thirsty, huh? I've been walking around too much. They sure put up shoved a lot, a lot into this DLC, didn't they?
And this is just one of the DLCs, no less. Want me to train you? Alright, so teach me efficiency so I have better stamina. Thank you. Probe? Any melee weapon. A weak attack that increases alertness level on hit. Evolves into stronger forms as alertness level rises. Oh. Okay. Metabolic Purge. Passive skill that increases corruption resistance by 10%. Alright. Sure, that sounds important. And this is a different mechanic altogether. <laughs> what else can we learn here? Ooh, thank you. Bag is finally overweight again, apparently. Sure took a while. Let's eat some bread. Hey, listen. Put him up. I'll train you. Prismatic flurry. It asks you to bend magic balloons with your fists. Truly emerging in the physical and the spiritual. Only a few people are capable of it. Is the plan. Your chitin from an enhanced scourge piece, and you're capable. Okay, so I have to kill an enhanced scourge piece. I see how it is. At ease, what do you need? Ah, a visitor to Hermaten. Welcome. My name is Victor Berthelot. I am the dean of military affairs here. Never forget, the antique plateau is an extremely dangerous place. If you need protection, the Wolfgang mercenaries are there to help. Oh, really? Help you do what? Improvised bedroll, some wood spikes, and some traps. Looks like it's getting dark. It's good to get more skills. Whether they'll come in ha handy though, that's a different question. So a hundred days to stop the Forge Master from doing some shit to this town for no reason. Maximum stamina increased by 25. Let's see now. What else we can we learn here? Why are there two inns? Can I enter both of them? Let's try it. See what happens if we go inside here. Very nice in. Greetings, friend. The customers have been talking. Mm -hmm. Have they now? That's why they have the death penalty. Greetings, friend. Yep. See, months ago, I was ambushed and brought down by a shell horror. I thought it was all over, but then I woke up next to a roaring campfire safe and sound with a note from the Gep fellow. Damn. 
Gep is real, and we will find him eventually. Keyword, however, is eventually. Let's check out the other side of town. It's actually cold outside too. There seem to be a lot of homeless in this town too, aren't there? It's kind of concerning. Something on your mind. Welcome to the Victorious Light. If you're a traveler who only wants the best comfort, you're in the right place. No, no. Don't tell anyone, but... That's not really a secret. Eva G. Leo. I like her armor. That's really, that's really cute. I'm not gonna lie. No. Really, so that's the case? That sucks. You're just really just gonna let me open this chest over here for no reason? Ah, there's nothing in the chest. Alright. Chat, I think I'm going to end tonight's stream at or here. I mean, we're in a pretty good place. Here, things are only going up for us at the moment. We even look pretty badass, if I do say so myself. Thank you, everyone, for coming by tonight, for the new subs and for the new followers. As always, you're all very well appreciated. Trash can trash. Have very have a lot of fun on your upcoming cruise. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. to 12 midnight, usually Central Standard Time, except for this Friday, where I'll be streaming a Guilty Gear Strive tournament at 7 p.m. I will also be streaming on Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 11 p. 11 a.m. from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I will be MST3 or reviewing bad movies with Headhunter and Kamoyu that evening. I will be streaming next week as well, although next week I'll be going on vacation myself, so we'll have limited stream times. And without further ado, let me go ahead and find us someone to raid tonight. Who is streaming tonight? Oh, the dancer window just go online. Let's see how she's doing. She got online around 19 minutes ago, and she is currently listening to some musics. Vapor Magic is listening, is uh, apparently playing Tabletop Simulator. Vicori playing some Genshin Impact. Claude also playing some Genshin Impact, and so is Delta. Nyanth of that was playing multiverses. Hmm, that's interesting. Vapor Magic's form has changed. 
usually they're in their god form. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it looks like he's playing Magic the Gathering. Fairly fun. I don't see people playing Magic the Gathering online much anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and send you all to him. That's a pretty cool guy. Or I should say God. Pretty cool God. <laughs> For tonight's raid message, let's go ahead and use something basic like <laughs> Oh, I had plenty of fun here, Wolf. For once, today's stream actually went off without a hitch, believe it or not. Thank you all for stopping by to hang out. And I'll see you all soon. Or no, 24, 24. Yo, lols, what's going on? Thank you so much for the raid.